Hi everybody. I wonder what, I wonder what this is all about. Hmm. I don't know. Don't you just love breaking ice out of the puddles? You'd think I was a little kid, uh, but uh, anyway, I guess uh, uh, ice in the puddles uh, brings back the, the youngster in me. Uh, last week, uh, when we were out on the walk, and I'm going to walk careful here down these, these nice new steps. Last week when I was on uh, my walk, I uh, told you about Dr. Stackhouse's uh, book uh, that was released not too long ago. It's titled, Can I Believe? And uh, in his book, he does uh, something uh, quite, uh, quite clever. In fact, uh, it's, uh, it's useful, it's, it's memorable as well. I do remember last time those four things that I uh, told you about that uh, Christianity easily answers those four questions. Well, as he starts out his, his uh, uh, description, uh, he says that any set of beliefs should do three things. And uh, he uses uh, what in a manner of speaking is three words that we can easily remember that all start with C. Uh, perhaps he's a, a preacher at heart. Three words that uh, start with C. Uh, any set of beliefs should provide a creed. Any set of beliefs should provide a code and any set of beliefs sh should provide a community. Uh, you can kind of see where he's going with that. Uh, a creed, uh, uh, words to, uh, to guide us. Uh, we, uh, we know that uh, our holy scriptures that Jesus, uh, uh, the word of God has uh, given to us, uh, that uh, reminds us of that, that great truth, uh, the great truth, the creed. Uh, that which is, uh, as he described it, is some way of accurately describing the way things are. Accurately describing the way things are. Well, we know uh, from reading the, the Bible, we have an accurate description of the way things are. Sin entered the world, sin brings death, but we can thank God that God was not satisfied with that, but that he sent his one and only Jesus Christ, God the Son, to save us from sin by paying the penalty for our sin, and that through faith in him, uh, we can be made whole and well. So a creed, uh, describing the way things actually are, the second uh, C word, a code, uh, you know, the teaching of how it is that we should live, uh, the, the teaching uh, that helps us to respond to the way things are. Uh, we have uh, the, the teachings of Jesus Christ, the reminders to us in the Holy Word that uh, this is a sin-broken world, but that through Jesus Christ we can be made whole. Uh, the, uh, uh, the teachings, the codes, uh, and we have his word to follow. Uh, we have his word that teaches us about sin, about death, but also about, resur about resurrection, about redemption, about life forevermore that we can have abundant life now and a life that goes on through eternity. Uh, that is the code that he has given to us. Well, the third uh, brilliant thing that uh, the Lord has provided for us, and the third thing that really any set of beliefs can be used uh, in evaluation is uh, community and the church, uh, the gathering of the believers both uh, around the world, the, the church worldwide or the church universal, but also the local manifestations like our church right here in this community or the church in the community wherever you are. You see, the church uh, provides us the community. The community is the, the people who can encourage you to and teach you how to live out uh, the, the code. You see, we live together as God's people in the church and the Lord called us together to be his people, to encourage one another, to teach one another, to show each other how to live. Uh, in the uh, course of his description, uh, Dr. Stacko says, uh, and we would uh, be wrong to go to uh, one of those moribund churches that are, are death, uh, dead and lifeless, uh, that, uh, but instead, we need to go and be part of uh, the vibrant, living Church of God, the Church of Jesus Christ. 
And so we, as we work together, as we are together, as we live life together, we are the community of Jesus Christ. And it's one of the, the great things that we have as followers of Jesus. So remember those three words, creed, code, community. Those are three great things that we can use to uh, remind ourselves of uh, the goodness of God that he has given to us through life in Jesus Christ. Well, before I go, uh, just a few words of wit from uh, uh, Pastor McKenzie. Uh, first of all, there's that one where, where he says, uh, if you're not afraid to face the music, someday you may lead the band. Ah, that's a good one. And also, uh, he had a good perspective on leadership. Uh, leaders go down in history. Some go farther down than others. I suppose at times like this, that brings a smile to our face and a glint to our eye because we know that our great leader, Jesus Christ, is the greatest of them all. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. I suppose only a, a silly preacher would go out in the woods during deer season uh, dressed in a black coat. But uh, thankfully, I don't think I was any more than 400 meters away from a dwelling uh, the whole time. So uh, I'm just about back, uh, safe and sound, and uh, just about to uh, approach this, this great uh, set of steps. This is a, a new addition to the, the walking path. I'm thankful for it. All right, so you have a great day, and God bless. And I made it back in one piece. Uh, just before I go, maybe for old time's sake, Oh, that one's good and solid. Look at that. Oh.